any new exhibits I should know about. Have you seen the bony hand of Bodmin? Yeah. Someone's offered us another pickled penis, but I said no. Well, you can have too many, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing for the bungee jump. Shall I put that on? <laughs> you really want to, don't you? <laughs> I think it would draw attention nicely to the centre. One of the friends of the centre suggested I do it naked. Mm. Because he thought it rang more true somehow. I was prepared to do it using an old witch's pubic wig called a merkin. You remember our merkins in the restricted section? Yeah, you don't forget a display case full of pubic wigs in a hurry. No, but the feeling was that the G-forces would rip it off. Do you like it? Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> um, listen, I'm getting into a little bit of a state about doing this bungee jump. So I have decided to confront my fears rationally. Good. And buy a lucky charm off you. Um, have you got anything? Oh, Angela, you poor love. Oh, I'm always making charms for people. You know Sting? Mm. I made one for him when he was worried about some tour dates in Turkey. This is nice. Mm. And this is to ward off that super knit that's been going around. I sold a lot of those. Oh, that's nice. What's, what's that? That? Oh, that's just some old stone that got in there. Right. Um, have you got anything, you know, for fear of flying? Specifically, a fear of plummeting and crashing. Mm. <sighs> this is an ergaman stone. It has properties of floating and levity. <laughs> oh, it's quite big, isn't it? Big is as big does. What, what does that mean exactly? The bigger the stone, the bigger the effect. Has it got a big one? So you decided to do it then? Yeah. What's this? Nothing. <laughs> it's a magic stone. You can't do the jump with a stone. I have to, it's lucky. Well, apart from throwing your body weight calculation out, it could fly off and kill someone. <laughs> Sorry. You expect me to jump into the void on a length of rubber and pay for the privilege? And meanwhile, you're just worried that someone's going to get a little pebble in the head? Have you got any idea how hard this is for me? Here, piss off. Go on. Not you, not you. Right, Kelly? What do you want? You fancy yourself a bit of a panther, then? No. If I give you 100 quid, you could do your own mural. Anything you like. Apart from the following. No activities of a sexual nature. No celebrations of drugs, alcohol or glue, Kelly. No tricks with animals. No clowns. And no needlessly thin or attractive people. OK. Yeah. Right. Here. You can have the other half when you've finished it. Here, here's 20 quid. Treat yourself to a bungee jump, eh? You must be joking. None of us are going on that. It's a bloody death trap. Look, you can't do the jump with a stone. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa,
I had my lucky stone with me. <laughs> I want to do it again! <laughs> so, presumably, you'll be saying yes to life from now on, then? Well, I might start by saying maybe to life. Good, good. And then... Just work my way up to yes. Work your way up. Yeah. Yeah. So... Though profoundly deaf, Daphne can make a noise like a chicken. Yes. Apparently she taught herself at uh, deaf school. Been saving it up to torture Jeff with. Oh, nice. I had to give Kelly Andrew quid to finish that mural. And the paint cost an extra 80. So no profit then? Yes, 1,300 quid. It's a proper job. I'll leave it a year, then I'll apply for another grant. And I'll get the kids to cut a big white horse into that hillside up there. <laughs> That's gonna be worth five grand, isn't it? Mm. It's always white horses though, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. We'll do a penguin. We've got a special.